Digital dirt. I like, I don't like digital dirt. I don't want it to exist for ourselves and our clients. But the reality is, is that it's a sweet spot for what we do because we have, we, we know people that have it, we have clients that have it, either by guilt of association, as Susan was talking about earlier, just based on sharing a similar name with someone else, in which case that client probably needs to start differentiating themselves. You hear all the time about, okay, I started using my full name instead of, you know, say my name was, well, we actually have a member, and I'm going to make up a name, let's say um, Sarah Smith. And Sarah Smith um, lives in Australia, and there's a famous porn star named Sarah Smith in Australia. <clears throat> so she now goes by Sarah Beth. <laughs> she has, you know, really worked very, very hard to create a Sarah Beth focus using her middle name and training people with all her branded materials that she is Sarah Beth because she doesn't want them to just go look up Sarah Jones and find her masquerading as a porn star every time. But the reason why I call this a sweet spot is because uh, you need to find out if your clients have digital dirt. Um, some of them are going to tell you, some of them are not going to know any better. <clears throat> and you, um, and it's a great area because if they've got it, you can help them to fix it. 